Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Tuesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to use three powerful decks of cards today to connect with the energy around you, your person, your journey. So we're going to bring in the Archangel Raphael, Oracle of Healing. And I want to bring in this deck because we do go through things physically on this journey and when we go through chaos or upheaval or we go through emotion, it can take a toll on our physical health. So I want to bring Archangel Raphael in to see if there's anything that you are concerned about with your health that you may need guidance on. Or maybe you're worried about your person's health right now and you can receive guidance about that too and how to bring in health within the journey. I'm also going to bring in the Beautiful Rose Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. And I used this deck earlier for the Daily Angel reading. And we got the message coming through about the inner child. So make sure you are listening to your inner child's needs. Because sometimes we take things personally or too seriously. And we need to have some fun. And the thing is, if your inner child is calling to you, you may be missing attention and love right now. So give that attention and give your love to yourself and you'll feel better. I'm also going to bring in the gorgeous Twin Flame Guardian Angel cards by our soul sister, Angali. This is such a gorgeous deck. I'm just looking for the tin it comes in. Here it is. The Twin Flame Guardian Angel Oracle. So if you buy this deck, it comes in a tin. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. And later on, when I do with them to you reading, I'm going to bring in the Divine Mask and the Silence deck. So if you and your twin are silent or if you aren't communicating right now, you're going to receive a message there. So thank you, angels. What's the guidance for you today? What's the guidance for you today? What do you need to know? I'm waiting for a clear card. There it is. What's the guidance for your person today? Clear card sticking out the deck there. And the energy around the journey. What do we need to know for the journey today? Again, sticking out the deck. I've also got a card sticking out in the middle and one moving on the front there. Now let's use the Rose Oracle. What's the energy around you today? We've got a clear message, please, angels, for you today. Yeah, we've got one, two, three cards coming out there. I think there's three cards there. The energy around your person today. Again, making itself known and the energy around the journey. Thank you, angels. Wow, lots of guidance coming through. And then we're going to use the Raphael cards. This is a huge debt that I created about physical things. So obviously, if you are going through something physically, you're worried about it, please do see a doctor or speak to a professional. But this will also give you an idea of what you're going through from a spiritual perspective too. So what's the energy around you and your physical self? Got one card coming through for you. What about your person? Jumped in my hands and the energy around the connection, one card, wow, one card, one card moving at the back. Really powerful because this is a huge deck of cards and just a few things have come out. This card's also moving on top of the deck for the journey. So let's start with your energy today then because, you know, it's really important what you're going through. Sometimes you put everyone before yourself, including your person, and you need to think about you. Yeah, oh my goodness me, I've got angel bumps. Thank you, angels. This is why I love what I do, because the angels continuously blow my mind. I've been working with angels in this way, not on YouTube, but I've been working with angels since 2010. And even now, in 2024, 14 years later, they blow my mind, because the inner child card came out in a different deck for this day. So it's so important today that you give to your inner child. That means you give yourself the love you need. You give yourself attention. You give yourself affection. Because your inner child may be hurting right now. When was the last time you had some fun or you, you took yourself out on a date or you ate an ice cream or you did something playful? That's what you need right now. So the angels are saying to you, we're guiding you to safe and loving healers who will help you with healing your inner child wounds. Now, you know, you may need to go and see someone about a childhood wound. Maybe you're having therapy right now. Maybe you went through something so hard in your childhood, it's affecting you now. We all have childhoods that we wish we could change or we need to heal, whether they are through alcohol or abuse or, you know, changing homes or, you know, divorce or whatever it is, we all have a story to tell about our childhood. And how we handle that is also how we create our future. Because that person you were, it does not define who you are now. You know, you were strong and powerful. So an inner child healing is essential now on your twin flame journey. Now, what I'm connecting with here is, yes, you may be dealing with wounds and 
things from the past. And definitely the divine masculines go through that. You know, your special person may be experiencing wounds that are, you know, stopping them from being with you or blocking the connection right now, things they need to heal. But when I'm connected with the inner child, I'm really connecting with you needing to have more fun or to be more playful or do things you enjoy. When you do that, you reconnect with the lighter energy within you. You feel brighter, you feel blessed, you feel free. You don't feel as burdened when you're connecting with your inner child. So I feel your inner child is saying to you, take me out, let's do something, go somewhere. I need your love too. And that's the truth. Remember, you give your energy to everyone else, give it to you. And you may have kids, think how demanding your kids can be. So think how demanding your inner child is as well. But definitely if you are going through a wound healing connected with your childhood, then you can seek out a safe and loving healer, someone who can help you. But I feel that that's also knowing you can call on the angel. So let's bring in the Raphael card. Oh my goodness me, this is blowing my mind. Playfulness. Thank you, angels. Wow. If you're going through anything in the physical body right now, you need to be playful playfulness, play with your inner child, that means take your inner child out somewhere, say to your inner child, what do you want to do today, you know, this reminds me of, you know, years ago when, I was saying years ago, it was a few years ago now, but I remember I went up to the town where I live, and at the time, they got um, like a fair there, and I was shopping, it was in the day, and there was no one there really, because, you know, it was open, but most people went there after 5pm, and they got a ghost train, And I was shopping, I got shopping bags and I just had to go on that ghost train. My inner child was craving that ghost train. And, you know, I went on and I had the best, I don't know how long it was, two, three minutes, but it was amazing. I loved connecting with my inner child in that way and I felt elated. I felt like I got a spring in my step. It was fun. So what's your inner child craving today? That's your treatment. Whatever's going on in your connection today or whatever's going on, in your body or, you know, if you're feeling down or playfulness is the answer to do something your inner child is asking you to do. Now we've got the grandmothers here and I feel there's also a grandmother coming through saying to you, make sure you're looking after your inner child today. Make sure you're being playful. So I feel someone up there in in heaven, you know, there's a grandmother around someone. You may connect with that straight away. You may think, oh yeah, my grandmother's with me. Or maybe you didn't know your grandmother. Maybe your grandmother passed before you were born. Or you're not aware of a grandmother. But I definitely feel there's a grandmother in heaven watching over you today. Saying, remember your roots. Change your perspective. Trust the weavings of your life. Things are working out for you. This is really like the great, great of heaven. You know, the great mothers of heaven. Like Mother Mary or, you know, the the grandmother of Jesus. Or even Mary Magdalene coming through and saying to you, You can trust this journey. You can trust in God. You can trust the way the universe is creating the way. All you need to do is change your perspective and remember your roots have some fun. You know, remember your roots could also mean spending time with your family. Maybe that will help you to nurture your inner child. Maybe you haven't seen your family for a while. Your family could be your mum and dad. It could be a sister, a brother. Or it could be a friend who you see as a sister or brother. Spending time with other people. So yes, definitely spend time in with yourself. But you may want to connect with your roots to feel more lovely. Maybe you've got a grandmother here on the earth plane and you want to go and spend time with that grandmother because that person is showing you power. You know, for me, for example, this is resonating with my journey because I've got a member of my family who is actually my mum's distant cousin, but she's always been like an auntie to me. And she's actually 84. And I've been spending a lot of time with her lately. And she's such an inspiration to me. You know, her husband died, you know, over 20 years ago from dementia. And she's been single ever since. And, you know, she is just an absolute inspiration. She goes out all the time. She's got a great circle of friends. She goes shopping. She goes everywhere out for lunch and all these things. You know, she doesn't drive. She gets the buzz everywhere. But she is the ultimate grandmother. She isn't a grandmother but she is, she would be a great one, you know, and she really is a grandmother in a way to my sister's daughter, because family is how you make it, you know, it doesn't need to be a specific role that they play, so for example, to me, she is my auntie, but she is also my second mum, you know, she's a friend, she's like a sister to me, so 
This is what I'm connecting with today. You're being shown here that you have roots, so you can go and spend time with your family as well as your friends or even by spending time with yourself. And what I want to do as well is, while we've got that grandmother card, I'm going to bring in the message from the other side because I feel there is a message coming through here from a grandmother for someone. Yeah, look at this. I am still here because you are still there. So that means that if you've got a grandmother or even a loved one in heaven around you, they are with you because you're on the earth. This person is saying, I'm here with you because you were there on the earth. And while you need me, I will be there. And when you still your mind, they give me fear. When you go into fear, all you need to do is still your mind and you'll receive answers, clarity. They give me fear. So I feel someone is releasing fear right now, which I channel as like a burpee energy to know that you are safe. And remember, you are a grandmother. That means you are the empress, that you are a nurturing energy and you're very grand. You know, you're wise and strong. So remember your power. You've also got rose without thorns. Well, you don't get a rose without thorns. What that means is there's always going to be pain on this journey. There's pain in life. You know, when you give birth to a child, there's pain to receive that beautiful life. You know, there's pain. So you don't get a rose without the thorns. So you have to focus on the rose, not the thorns. You have to focus on the sweetness of life to find peace in where you are. You have a right to your joy. So you do. So remember, you have a right to be joyful. And when you feel at peace with your journey, you are at ease with your journey. And you focus on the sweetness of life. And then you open up to everything. You start saying yes to you, to life, to everything you desire. You expand through the extreme. So, you know, when you go through the thorns of your life or the dark times, it makes you stronger, wiser, more in control. And it allows you the sense of peace to surrender control, to surrender and trust life. So when I say that you are in control, it means you know how you feel. You know you can handle what you're going through. You surrender control of other things. So you don't try and force anything or rush anything. You just trust in the flow of life. And sometimes we have to say yes to ourselves by saying no to others. We say yes to our inner child by sometimes saying no to others. Maybe people are saying, do you want to do more hours at work? And you say, well, I do, but I want to spend some time with me. So I'll reluctantly say no to say yes to me. So this is about you saying yes to yourself, opening yourself up. And I love that we've got the inner child card that's blown me away and the treatment is playfulness. That's how you're going to feel better. Being more playful, being more open, having faith, surrendering, giving back to God and giving back to yourself. So the energy around your person is message. So first of all, they are receiving a message. Okay, they are receiving a message about you through signs, synchronicities, through their feelings. But they are coming through today to say to you, I'm going to contact you soon. I'm getting ready to contact you soon. So they want to send you a message. So this is a huge sign to relax about your journey and be more playful because they are going to contact you. Maybe that's on your mind today. Maybe you're thinking, well, I can't relax because I don't know if they're going to contact me or I can't be at peace because I don't know what's going on. The angels are saying to you, your person is getting ready to contact you soon. So be on the lookout for an important message via email, text or social media messages. And that doesn't mean you have to continuously pick up your phone and have a look. It means just be ready for anything because they will contact you. Now, what are they going through physically? We've got chiropodies. Interesting because they may have minor fears around the future right now. They may be going through fears around the future, especially if they're worried about contacting you or worried about you moving on or they're anxious about something they're going through. So they may need to visit the chiropody. So now what that means is they're having feet issues. Feet issues are connected with minor fears around the future. You know, whereas they may be having an ingrowing toenail or maybe they've not the toe or they need to go and have the nails cut or whatever it is. So I'm not saying it's anything bad why they need to see a chiropodist, but the message coming through here is they are dealing with minor fears of the future. And when they deal with those minor fears, their feet will feel better. You know, maybe they've got blisters on the feet or the shoes are rubbing them or other things are going on. And they need to sort out their work, their career and their finances because I do feel many of them do not love their work. They don't see their work as a career and they're having financial issues. So they need to turn this around. So they're needing to understand what work is. You know, work enables us to have money to do the things that we want to do, the things we love. 
So yes, we can love our work, but we also have to find a balance. Remember, the treatment for you is playfulness. The treatment for them is balance. They need to find the right balance. Yeah, look at this. Do something you love. So they need to look at their work, their career, and their finances and think, do I love this? Am I getting the money I want? Am I in the career I want? Am I doing work that I love? They are being guided to do something that they love. So they may be changing their career right now or reflecting on their career or their life and working out what to do. And we've got rapture. This is really powerful. It says sensuality, love, devotion, romance, ecstasy and pleasure. Guess what? When they were around you, then when they're with you, that's exactly what they feel. They feel this love in a very sensual way. They are devoted to you, even if they don't seem to be yet. They feel romance, ecstasy and pleasure all rolled into one with you. And they want to message you because they want that feeling. And also we've got plant yourself here. So they are really integrating with their true self wherever they are. They are recognizing they are in the embodiment of love and they are now taking grounded action, which means they are taking action to move forward. They want to plant themselves in the right place. You know, plant energy is also about something being built, something being fertilized, something starting to fall into place, something blooming and growing. So they know where they want to be and they want to put roots down there. They want to put roots down with you and that's why they want to message you. So even if they've uprooted the life you have together, they want to put roots down somewhere with you and they want to take grounded action to make that happen. And the grounded action is going to be the message that's coming in. So be playful. They want to do something that they love and what that is, is with you. Now the energy around the connection today is gratitude. Wow. So another way we can connect with our inner child and have fun and be playful is by focusing on blessings and being grateful. Gratitude will help you align with your wildest dreams so they can come true. And if you keep a gratitude journal and you write down all you're truly grateful for, you really can expect miracles to come in. And remember, if you've seen a bee or you've seen bees, that's a huge sign of miracles. If you've seen 777, that's a huge sign that you're manifesting your dreams. If you've seen bees, it's also a huge sign of communication. So the angels are saying to you, we have magical news for you today. You can rejoice and celebrate knowing that you and your person are on the right path to your divine union, which means you're going to be together. They are going to message you. So do something you love today and be playful. The angels are also sending you 444 saying we are with you. We understand how painful and bleak your journey can seem. At times it seems dark and painful, but we send you 444 to let you know that we are close to you and comforting you during these times, especially if you're going through grief right now, or you're in pain, or you're missing them, or maybe you're missing a loved one. We see you have been holding on to grief and sorrow. The time has come for you to fully grieve your loss. Have a good cry, release the pain. This is part of your healing now. So it's okay to cry. It's okay to miss them. It's okay to feel what you feel. And I feel this grief is connected with them because they're grieving you. They're missing you. Especially if they've walked away when they may have had a solid foundation with you and they've messed that up in some way. They want to bring that back. And oh my goodness me, look at this. We've got the child within. I've got angel bumps. This is the card that came out for the daily angel reading today. And the fact that you've got the child within coming up in this message here you've got playfulness and then you've got inner child is such a huge message. So they are missing your gentleness, they are missing your touch and they are missing the way you are, the way your empress energy nurtures them. And this is also about the need to be with you in that way. So forgive and heal and know that everything we go through grows us. The child within is always learning and growing. And so are you, the adult within you, the higher part of you. So see yourself in divine and perfect health, especially if you're going through anything physically right now. See yourself as healed. See your journey in divine and perfect health. See the connection with your person in divine and perfect health. Imagine you are living the life of your dreams because miracles are possible. And that's why we've got the B and the 777 and the angels are saying this, miracles are possible. That's why the angels are coming through to you today. And saying to you, we have a blessing to give to you. We have magical news for you. Rejoice and celebrate knowing that you and your twin flame are on the right path to union. And if you've seen 717, that's also a sign of that. 
because miracles are possible. And look at this for synchronicity. Treatment as laughter. Wow. So Archangel Raphael is saying, just laugh, play, have some fun, have time for you, relax. And this card's just moved on top of the deck. Look at that. I am already healing you. I am already healing you and them in this situation. Whatever you're going through, Raphael is already healing you. And you're healing your inner child. So laugh today, play, find time for fun, connect with your inner child. The miracles are possible. And the thing is, when you're focused on blessings and gratitude, you're seeing life through the eyes of a child. You're connecting through your inner child. Your inner child has wonder and joy when they see something wonderful. Like me doing this reading today. My inner child is elated and excited and, you know, absolutely shouting for joy at the synchronicities in this reading because it blows me away every day. Working with the angels blows me away every day. And you're going to experience that too. I know you do already in certain things. So yes, a miracle is possible. A message is on the way and you are safe. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.